Today I am reviewing and comparing the Ecodyne jacket versus the Adventure 2.0 jacket from the brand Apricot. <laughs> Apricot is a brand that was created by international travelers who wanted to create the best quality types of clothing for adventurers and travelers. Before we get into this review, let's rewind back to the products in action. This is the Adventure, the Apricot Adventure Jacket Women Large Blue. This is the first one I'm trying it on for me. And I'm gonna take it out and see how it weathers the storms of Ireland. Minus, because I can't get the freaking tongue on. It is easy, I'm just have no patience today. Mission accomplished, ready -o. Ooh, lovely. Right, I'm not gonna go into the details, I'm just gonna go, ooh, lovely. It's very soft. I'm just gonna use it today. I already know it's that kind of material that I need to layer up with, like I need to put this layer on because, as I've mentioned in other videos, I have sensitive skin and whilst this is soft material the inside is still like a waterproof material so I know for sure it's not going to feel nice on my skin although it does have that soft material again around your hands but again I'll go into the details and later on just want to show you how I'm putting it on for today I like let's see if this can live up to an adventure jacket. Just want to make a quick introduction to this jacket. It's the Eco Down jacket from Apricot, and I'm going out today to test it on a hike and a walk. So I will report back with what I have found useful about this jacket. Mainly, my main focus is versatility in a jacket. The UK and Ireland, where I'm predominantly based is unpredictable with its weather you can get at least four seasons in one day so when i'm picking a jacket i need versatility in that so that's definitely something i'll be looking for but other main features and pros and cons you will definitely find in this video regarding this jacket and the other jacket that i will be reviewing which is the adventure 2.0 jacket from apricot i don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because it's so windy but i'm using my phone mic for this that I'm up in one of the mountains testing this jacket. It's freezing but it's pretty warm. Just on my face right now. So I just got back from testing the apricot eco down jacket. We took it on a hike which was pretty great. It was so windy. So I'm, I live predominantly in Ireland and we took it up one of the mountains and oh my god I nearly got blown away. So it was really good to test it out definitely definitely recommend this jacket however the other jacket the adventure 2.0 jacket i think it is i had my mum wear it up um and she has her pros and cons to it but i will say this one was a lot better i think this one's specifically made for that i'm not too sure i would need to actually read up on it i didn't want to read it um to kind of pre-judge it if that makes sense like put things into my head so took it up and i will give you a full rundown whenever i'm back as you would have seen in the previous clips, I've had about a month or so, if not a bit longer, to test out these products. So I have been able to suss the products out. Let's get into the prices of the jackets. So the price of the Eco Down jacket varies depending on when you're watching this video. At the moment, I know that they are on sale, so they originally are $250 down to $199 I believe. I will pop it up on the screen beside me so that you can see at this current moment what price they are. The Eco Down jacket comes in different colours. Black, yellow, blue, grey I believe. And also there is a limited edition one, a glacier jacket in white. So you can go check that out over on their website. So I actually have the medium in the Eco Down jacket size. So I will say this is a good fit but a tight fit. And um, whenever I put it on it's fine, but when you have a like a hoodie on or if you want to layer it up with anything else, it was just a bit tight in the arms, but I did realize that if it wouldn't let me, because oh, you can open it up here. I think this is for like airflow 
it does zip down but for the life of me it's not going but it does zip down to about here so that gives you an extra room for sizing but i will say go up a size if you want to layer up because it is quite tight on the arms apart from that so it's kind of the same idea for the Adventure 2.0 jacket. Depending on when you're watching this video, they may or may not have discounts over on their website. We'll pop it up on the screen beside me. However, at the minute, I believe it is two, three, three dollars. And I have it in the size large in the navy. You can get it in different colors. Just head over to their website to see the different options for you. Okay, let's start with the Adventure 2.0 pros and cons. I guess the immediate thing with regards to the Adventure 2.0 jacket is the fact that it has 16 integrated pockets. Bruh. 16. I can see how beneficial this would be for someone who is going on a hike or an adventure. Definitely 100% you can fit lots of little items in here and it's perfect for that. However, it is very overwhelming and I definitely don't need 16 pockets in a jacket. So a few things to just note about the pockets is that there is a zipper and then inside the pockets is lycra dividing up the compartments. Don't know if you can see that there. Then there is suggestive emoticons for your essentials. They have little tags that suggest what might fit in there, which is really, really handy. The Adventure 2.0 jacket is DWD approved, which means that no matter where you place the items on your jacket, it ensures balance. So again, it really is down to preference. I mean, I could do without the generous amount of pockets, but for you, you might find it very useful. As you would have seen, my first impressions on this jacket is that it is lightweight, very comfortable. I have it in the size large, I will say, to go up a size in this jacket, because then it leaves room for layering if you want to. There is also a cool feature at the back of the jacket for her a hydration pack which is great if you are going on long hikes or long adventures whatever it may be so you can stay hydrated i will say that they say this jacket is windproof and i'm laughing because if you've seen the previous clips you would have seen my poor madre getting blown away in the wind uh, as we were up on our hike in ireland her first error was that she did not layer up and like I said it's in a large so you can imagine it was a bit gappy on her too as well we're about the same size so the wind the gale force wind was just breezing up inside her that's what she said <laughs> but I will say to prevent this and I wish we had just stopped and adjusted the jacket because you can adjust it on the sides to prevent the wind from flowing up and also on the jacket they have the gloves which I have here which stops the airflow from going up into your arms which is really very handy and it's adjustable on the sides so you can adjust it to your wrist size and this material here is so soft and silky I absolutely love it so this is really really handy I will say she just made an error in the fact that she didn't layer up for one and two we didn't adjust it so although it didn't suit her needs at that time I do think that it is a jacket that could weather the storms of Ireland and the wind but you just need to be careful and adjust it to the type of weather that you're going to endure. So just bear that in mind. I do believe this jacket is definitely worth the investment. It is a jacket that I think more adventure seekers and people who are going on long hikes or whatnot would get the full advantage of it in terms of like the pockets and stuff. However, it is still a great jacket for everyone. It is an all in one type of jacket and it has great features like the built-in gloves it also has a hood that you can take off and you can roll up and put it in your pocket it has water resistant material it's eco-friendly and it's definitely definitely a lasting jacket First impressions the eco down jacket is amazing it is not overwhelming with the amount of pockets that it has it has great material and it is absolutely stylish 
the jacket itself retains a lot of heat as you would have seen in the clips i was absolutely getting blown away into next year up on my hike in ireland and the only thing that i would say is that my face was absolutely freezing so April cold if you want to just add a wee snood that'd be great but I do think that was down to the fact that um I didn't up like do up my hood properly but it was too cold I just wanted to get down from that mountain panels on the side of the jacket are very flattering they accentuate your figure as you would have seen in previous clips the great thing about this jacket is the fact that it does have air convention flowing zippers so on the back you have you're lying to me oh no you're not <laughs> and the zipper is here why you're stupid so again like the arms there is a little mesh that helps with airflow it's definitely less overwhelming than the adventure 2.0 jacket in terms of pockets but it's not really any better because there is 11 and i'm wondering why i need 11 pockets but again it could be useful for someone so again with the adventure 2.0 jacket the eco down also has suggestive emoticons on what you should place in each pocket as zippers and then the lycra that splits the compartments into three little pockets which is a nice little touch this is also netted with the emoticons is that what they're called emoticons emojis so this here bad boy where is it i won't even be able to find it now here is where the passport emoji was and within about five seconds it came off hopefully the clip will be running over this so you can see and I will say, I was fighting for my life to put my passport into this pocket, so it's not really true to size. The jacket is completely self-packable and it fits into this little pouch. It is lightweight, so it is easy and handy to just pack away. The main feature I love about this jacket is the fact that there is an adjustable reflective strap that is easily stored away into the jacket and you can take it out if you're on early walks in the morning or late at night. It helps just protect you and I really appreciate that Apricot has thought of this. This jacket has been tested in minus 10 temperatures, although I haven't had the opportunity to test this jacket out. If you have seen my previous videos, I reviewed the NS40 jacket from Tropic Field and it's not necessarily a ski jacket, however it did well. And I can imagine this type of jacket would do the exact same. So it retains a lot of heat, it's water resistant and it just feels like that kind of jacket that you wouldn't be sweating to death in if you were skiing. I mean, it says that the jacket is tur resistant, but I'm not willing to test that out. Overall, this jacket is amazing. I absolutely love it. It does have an adjustable hood, so you can peel it off as well and shove it in one of your 11 pockets as you have plenty to choose from. It will fit nicely in there. Let's do a quick comparison. Apricot's jackets are made from 100% recycled polyester synthetic down. I will say I was reading up on it and it says that the synthetic down is definitely better than the natural down in terms of how the jacket dries. And I can definitely vouch that for both the jackets as the water just runs off these types of jackets, which is an absolute bonus. And it means that it keeps all your valuables safe. Personally, my favorite jacket is the Eco Down jacket and that's just down to preference in style. I think I would have preferred the Adventure 2.0 jacket in the black. I don't know why I got the navy. Hmm. Apricot's jackets are definitely trustworthy. They're made from great material and they're eco-friendly, which is absolutely fabulous. The jackets themselves are not highly priced. So when you compare them to the likes of Architerix, I'm definitely butchering that name, but if you compare the Adventure 2.0 jacket to the likes of Architerix jacket, then you will see that the Apricot jackets are in the mid-range price, which is perfectly great because the jacket does everything that you need it to do for half the price. Maybe I'll do a comparison on the Apricot Adventure 2.0 with uh, Architerix. If I can get the name right, it'd be great. Architerix. I'm getting dyslexia. It's actually Arc'teryx, isn't it? The jackets itself, they both offer different little quirks and some similarities. It's really just down to the style you prefer. 
If you would prefer to read the written review, then the link is in the description along with the links to the products we've mentioned today. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more honest product reviews to help you level up your gear.